Here is how it all went down on Super Sunday. John and Jim Harbaugh exchanging pleasantries before the game. Jack and Jackie Harbaugh, mom uh, and dad and mom watching the game uh, high above the uh, stadium. Ray Lewis reacting to the emotional America the Beautiful with the Sandy Hook Elementary School's choir performing. And Colin Kaepernick got the ball first as the Ravens deferred. And what ended up happening was they stopped the 49ers and Kaepernick, then got the ball, matriculated down the field, and on third down, and offsides gave the uh, Ravens another shot at third down inside the uh, red zone. And this time, Flacco did not miss. Antoine Bolden right there. This is a great route. He, the linebacker thought he was coming underneath. He's kept it straight up the field. Great route, great throw. Ravens draw first blood, 7 nothing. Next Niners possession, Kaepernick on second and 11. Michael Crabtree, nice catch and run. That is a nice catch and run by Crabtree. Crabtree made some plays, had a big drop today. And uh, on Ray they, they Lewis. They were attacking Ray Lewis over the middle of the field right there. That's just a stutter. Vernon Davis attacked him. Crabtree attacked him. And here's the aforementioned Vernon Davis attacking. A wide open Vernon Davis streaking inside the 10 yard line. 24 yard gain. And Ed Reed appears to have injured his knee. He said afterwards that he sprained his MCL on this play. He did, but Ed Reed, the Ed Reed I know, was not going to come out of that game. Certainly not in his hometown stadium. Second and goal, Kaepernick. Flings it and it goes off of Crabtree's hands and almost into the hands of Randy Moss. So the Little Niners on third and goal now. Paul Kruger making a big play. So a big defensive stop for the Ravens in the red zone. San Francisco, they've been getting touchdowns in those Rich, situations. This game is all about third downs and you have to convert third downs in big games. They have to settle for a field goal. Speaking of converting third downs, look like Flacco is throwing this away, but the first wow play of the game. Flacco to Anquan Bolden right there, a 30-yard reception. And Three plays later, third and 13. Flacco is sacked, so the Niners with a big play right there as uh, Baltimore has to punt in this situation, keeping it 7-3, to three, and that's how the Harbors, the Harbaugh brothers reacted to that single play. Let's go to the second quarter now. Next Niners possession. It's still 7-3 Baltimore. Fifth play of this drive right outside the Ravens' red zone, and Michael James with the big first turnover of the night. Count him, Rich. That's the second mistake right there. You, 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 you have a penalty that leads to a touchdown, and now you have a turnover on a key possession when you're about to go in. Courtney Upshaw creates the fumble. Arthur Jones recovers it. Yes, Jim, uh, that uh, that was uh, very difficult for him to believe right there as Tom Rathman speaks to one of his charges. So what would the Ravens do with the first turnover of the night? They would move it down the field. Ed Dixon with a nice juggle grab on Terrell Brown. Two plays later at the 22, Flacco for Dixon again, and Dante Whitner grabs him by the face mask so lots of laundry comes out on the field to move it half the distance to the goal that would be the four yard line and then two plays later Flacco to Dennis Pitta in the end zone to convert the turnover into seven points. This was a great throw by Flacco right here and a great route by Pitta. Looked like Pitta fooled everybody like he was going to the corner and hooked right back up and a dart by Flacco for the touchdown. So it's 14 to three now. Next Niners possession. Colin Kaepernick makes a mistake we haven't seen since his first possession at the postseason. Yeah, he's been pretty good with the football, Rich. I mean, right here, that ball just sailed on him. Yeah, I don't like the what uh, I don't like to have seen Randy Moss at least jump up for that ball to kind of deter, uh, distract Ed Reed there. Yeah, he went close to that ball, Mike. There's I know the, what you're saying, but that better thing was even close. I mean, then, then hats were thrown, helmets come jump. off. Bottom line is, as uh, that was Ed Reed's ninth career postseason interception, ties him for the most all time in that department. And then the, what a big surprise this was, the aforementioned first ever fake field goal in Super Bowl history, but Justin Tucker on fourth and nine comes up with just eight. So instead of going up by two touchdowns, it's still 14 yeah, I, was, I was okay, go ahead. One great player away from that play working. Had not it been Patrick Willis, that yes, play sir. would have been successful. Great job of Patrick Willis. Instead, keep that in your mind's eye Ooh. as Kaepernick almost throws a pick six there with his back against his own goal line. And the Ravens got the ball back in quality field position right around midfield third and ten with less than a minute to, uh, two minutes to go first play after the two-minute warning Flacco to Jacoby Jones wide open great pocket presence you see Flacco's footwork he's not known as a real mobile quarterback but he has great pocket presence he stepped up in the pocket and delivered a nice ball great four pump by 
Jacoby Jones right uh, uh, Oh! And he was not done in the big Brooke play department oh, on the night yeah. as this was a 21-3 lead for the Ravens. And the Ravens getting the ball first in the second half. That would be huge for the Niners to get at least a field goal before the half, which they did. Beyonce came out. She was spectacular. 21-6 is your score. Here is the opening kick after the Beyonce concert. And it's Jacoby Jones, eight yards deep in the end zone, burst and free, and he is gone. He's thinking about his dance right about now. <laughs> <laughs> he's thinking about like he's like y'all stay back. Oh, oh, sugar. Oh, That's what oh, sugar had just oh, rubbed the hands oh. on him. You did the sugar ray squirrel right there. 28 to six, longest kick return in Super Bowl history, tying his own mark of the longest kick return in history of any game, regular season or postseason. And everybody on the Ravens bench loves it, and Jim Harbaugh is bumming not away. He wanted to start the second half. But now we're to the next possession the 49ers have. Two plays into it. Turn out the lights go out. Somebody put a plug and light a can. 35 minute power outage delay. Somebody wow. call it Buffalo Well Wings. And uh, Jerome Boger, the referee, talking to some officials, and basically everybody just, just chilling. Rich, that's what happens when Beyonce leaves the field. Yeah, she, she took all the energy with her <laughs> out of the building. And John, I mean, everyone being here, the wave starts going, and everybody's trying to remain calm and trying to stay focused. And the crowd handled it well, Rich. Well, yeah, no, nobody they handled it well. Absolutely well. What no. else they going to do? 28 to 6 is your score after the power outage. Here comes. Uh, Kaepernick to Vernon Davis right there to the Ravens 31 yard line and then Kaepernick throwing a Michael Crabtree and Bernard Pollard and Carrie Williams just bounce off of what a play. They don't wrap up and it's a 28-13 game and the energy now uh -oh. was restored to the crowd. Uh oh, right there, you, you saw the rhythm that Kaepernick got into and the plays were called and they just started making plays. And the defense got into rhythm too as Ahmad Brooks on a blitz. They brought an extra rusher, which they really don't do too often. That's an eight yard loss, a three and out for the Ravens offense. Next play, Ravens punting. It was a sort of a, a knuckleball out of Sam Cook and then Ted Ginn takes that 32 yards. Suddenly now, the Niners are setting up shop in the red zone. And two plays later, they're inside the 10 at the six of the Ravens, to be specific. And what a neat, designed, and executed play this is. Man, I mean, they, they, they really sealed the edge, got a good shot block on Ed Reed, and, and, and it was a race to the corner between Frank Gore and I guess that's and Ray Lewis. That's Gore Kaepernicking there, and Olodi Nada hurt his knee on this play as they blew everybody up on this play on the offensive line and Delaney Walker, and that would be it for Haloti Nada's night, and that's a huge big time loss, huge loss on that defensive loss. line. Next loss. Ravens possession, Ray Rice Rock Roll. Just a great play by the defensive back right there. Got his hands right on the ball as Ray Rice tried to stiff arm him and got that ball out. And that's Terrell Brown with the knock loose, and he recovered it himself. The third lost fumble of the postseason for Ray Rice, who rarely does that at any time of his career. And now David Akers comes out as they're forced to settle for a field goal, and there's a little bit of the yips that we've seen out of David Akers of late, except for the fact that Chikey Brown oh, boy. is called for running into the Ooh, kicker. I don't know about that, man. Wow. I don't know about that. Did he hit him? No, he did. Did he hit touch him? him? That was some good act. Great act. Yeah. So now it's uh it's another shot for Akers, and this is a mulligan or player B as I like to call myself in that in the golf course. And player B is usually better than player A. Always. And that one was going through the uprights, and it's a five-point game all of a sudden. Ravens next possession. Third down. Big play here as Flacco finds Bolden, who gets some serious yak. It's Third a yard man. gain. What a physical player it's he a is. a grown man. Somebody daddy out there. He runs <laughs> into you and makes plays. Over one hour, the nuttiest third quarter in Super Bowl history took us to the fourth. And in the fourth on third and goal, Flacco, buying time with his legs, throws it out of bounds. Listen. They have to settle for the field goal I know here. Flacco ain't, wasn't a lead until after this game, but that's a penalty. Getting hit right there. He hit Brady or Manning like that. That is a penalty. They might have... Ejected him. So the Ravens settle for the field goal and they're up by eight again. Next to Niners possession, there's Randy Moss. 32 yard gain. Next play at 39. The inconvenient truth running downhill for a run that is as far as his number on his back. 21 yards. Two plays later, second and seven inside the red zone and Colin Kaepernick 
sets the record for the longest touchdown run by a quarterback in Super Bowl history, previously held by Joe Montana. Touchdown, Colin Kaepernick. It's a two-point game. Let's stop call that. And on the two-point conversion, Kaepernick looking for Randy Moss. What do you think of this? Oh, no, but I mean, if you go throw to Randy, let's throw a fade. So you know it's let's throw a fade. It's 31-29. Not, not a slant. What do the Ravens do like now with 8.30 to go in the Super Bowl? Flacco to Torrey Smith. But it's pass interference on Chris ball. Culliver. That kid played hard all night. Yes, he did. He played hard. I, I got a lot of respect for him. Three plays later after Jim Harbaugh challenged a bold oh, and catch, play. making it third and short. How about play. that call on third and inches? Flacco That's said they had a pitch play, a pitch or the pass to Anquan Bowden, he went with the sure thing. Five plays later, it's third and short. This one they can't convert as Flacco can't find Dennis Pitter. They settle for the field goal to make it a five-point game. And here comes Colin Kaepernick with two timeouts and three and change to go. Trying to drive him down the field, and he does that. A Michael Crabtree, 24-yard gain to the Ravens, 40 next play. Man, this kid can throw the ball, man. Crabtree. Man, he can throw the ball. Here comes the inconvenient truth out of the pistol. 33-yard rumble. There's so much deception in these plays. It creates creases, natural creases in defenses, and you, and you can't do anything about it because they force you to get upfield. Can the Niners? pull the improbable comeback first and goal Michael James runs it into the line takes it down to the two-minute warning Ravens have three timeouts left Niners have two timeouts left next play second and goal from the Ravens five Kaepernick rolling right looking for Michael Crabtree and incomplete man Crabtree, I, I thought he should have run a little bit deeper the into Ravens the end corners, zone and then come they back. They played pretty darn they good they tonight. They tight. gave up a lot, very tight. but they didn't break. Next play, third and goal. Crabtree, buck 55 to go. Crabtree can't corral it, incomplete, and it's fourth down. 150 to go. That was a play they were waiting on right there. They diagnosed that play the Ravens did and made that play well. Kaepernick flinging it to Crabtree. Some contact, to say the least. It's a turnover on downs, no flags. What do you think of Jimmy Smith here, Dion? Is this a penalty or not? No, that's a great play. That, that's how they've been playing all night. First of all, Crabtree initiated the contact because he wanted to push off and set him up for the back shoulder fade. And Jim Harbaugh goes, goes DEFCON 1 Bo Schembechler style right there. Ray Lewis and Ed Reed celebrating in the end zone. But what they need to finish this thing up is some quality play from their punter! Sam Cook, oh yeah, take your time. This is how you take the safety kicks when you want to win the Super Bowl. Textbook safety taking out of the punter right there. Taking it down to four seconds to go. And Cook with the punt. Ted Ginn tries to make something of it. And that wraps it up. The Baltimore Ravens win Super Bowl 47. The older brother, John, beats younger brother, Jim, Jack, and Jackie Harbaugh. Their long week is over, and Ray Lewis's long ride to another Lombardi Trophy ends in the New Orleans Superdome on the last game of his career. 34-31 is the final with his three first half touchdowns to give him 11 in this postseason tying. Not breaking Kurt Warner's mark. The one that he also holds with Joe Montana. That makes him the MVP, Joe Flacco of Super Bowl 47.